Hey what's going on guys, my name is Josh, welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today we are here on Jurassic World, and ladies and gentlemen, look at this, we are processing up, and this is not even exciting, um, I just wanted to show you that we are actually processing finally, I'm getting around to it, and um, I was just sitting here, and I filled this whole chest up with ores, I was like, you know what, we really need to do this, but like, look, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, about... Almost 10 stacks of iron. Multiply that by 2, that's 20 stacks of iron processed. Plus what's coming out of this guy down here. It's insane. So much stuff is coming through. Actually, we're out of power down here. That's strange. I've never seen that before. Hello. Okay. Well, we'll let that be. Well, guys, um, as you guys can see here, I cleaned up the room a little bit. I opened up the space, and I started filling things in. I ran out of materials, though, um, and I was like, you know what? I'm just going to record, and we got this going. We've got power to these guys right now. Very, very cool, and I'm really excited about that because today, ladies and gents, we are about to craft ourselves some auto crafters. It's really, really exciting because auto crafters are something super essential to Minecraft um, modded because once you get to this stage in the game, you need them to really stay up. And plus, it'll really automate the rest of our series and allow us to be a lot more efficient for time to come. Also, we almost have this entire wall filled with ores. I never thought I'd see it like this, but we do. It's really cool. I like it. And we've got the most amount of coal. And then I think second goes iron, and then redstone? Yeah. Nice. None of these guys have even hit a thousand yet, though. Because, um, once we actually get this AE system up, we're going to do a quest for a million ores each. And that's going to be awesome. That's just a little thing that we'll keep on. And we'll be adding more and more, like, tasks and challenges to keep the series entertaining. But, guys, let's get started with some auto-crafting. If you guys know, last episode, we built ourselves a 1K storage and a co-processing processing unit. And over here, we've got a 1K ME storage cell. Well... We can use that storage cell in just a second, but let's go ahead and make a molecular assembler. One of these guys, an acceleration card, I don't know what that's for. Well, I do know what it's that's for, I just don't need one right now. So we need formation and annihilation cores. And um, let's start with, who? if we're gonna do them here, we're gonna have input on each side, back, top, left, right, bottom. Actually, we'll do probably top, left, right for starting. We can add bottom later. So we'll need one, two, three, four. That doesn't fit properly. Crap. Does it fit better on here? One, two, wait. One, two, three, four, no. So, um, maybe we'll take one off of each side. We'll go one, one, two, two, one, two, three, one, two, four, one, two, five. Yeah, we'll do that. So it'll be like this. One's going to go here. One, two, one's going to go here. One, two, here. One, two, here. One, two, here. And we're going to place molecular assemblers in there. So we need five of these, meaning that we're going to have to make five annihilation cores and five formation cores. And I believe each makes two. So Fluix Dust plus Certus. So we're going to need um, five, three for that. Three. So we th need six logic processors. Okay, so that's six gold and six um, silicon. We need a... Inscriber silicone press and inscriber logic press and we need just six gold as well and some redstone Six redstone to be specific one two three four five six and One two three four five six there we go and let's actually check out do I have more gold ready to be processed up here? Maybe I put it all through already. Yeah, I did. That's fine. Um, let's just keep putting this lead through. Every time I come up I'm just gonna restock that guy. Um, it makes more sense. All right, let's head down here and we can get to our inscriber, which we need to do uh, silicone plus you. There you go. And we could get these acceleration cards. We'll get them in a minute. Um, they just need these calculation presses, and I don't have any right now. Ooh. Ooh. Seriously, no power? Oh, I was like, what is going on? 
don't tell me there's no power because I'm pretty, pretty dang positive I have power. And I would be very disappointed if I don't because I worked really, really hard to get a lot of power going. And it should be traveling down here. We'll add more storage cells down here for the future just to verify that we actually have power dedicated just to the ME system. Like I said, we're going to throw um, a separate system here that only powers this up. And then we also accept power from the main system just so that we have two backups so that we don't lose anything per se. Even though you don't when the power goes off, I just don't want to have to reconfig once we have multiple things set up on the system. Because reconfiguring it gets kind of tedious and you're just like, really, again? And I don't, I just don't feel like doing that. I'm sure you guys understand that. Um, if you guys have ever played with AE2, you would know that once you set up like bridges and um, connections between two wireless connections, it gets kind of tedious really fast. Okay, here's six. Okay, we can go like this. And that. There goes one, two, two. Here's two. Be funny if we could put two printed silicones in there. I think the textures are really, really cool in this, though. Like, I think they did a really good job. Even though it's been out for a while, I think they did a really good job. I've never mentioned that in the past. Um, but definitely, they, they stepped their game up. The AE2 team, the um, Applied Energistics team. Really, job well done, guys. Just had to say that. AE2's been a huge part of my entire series, of every series I've ever played, so really job well done. Okay, now that we have that made, we need a formation cores, so um, we need to do three. So we get Fluix and Certus. Fluix Dust and Certus, to be specific. So if we grab some Fluix Crystals... Five, six, and Certus. And what's the difference between this one? Okay, that one needs Nether, or pure Nether, while the other one needs Fluix. Okay, that works. So we need one, two, three. And we can place these back in here. Let's go grind up some Fluix, and we should be good to go. Okay, you guys get ground up. You get another set of lead, and one, two, three. Thank you, thank you, thank you. There's a one, two, three, and now we have those. Cool. Um, next, we're going to need, um, let's see, we are making five, so we're going to need five crafting tables and ten quartz glass. So here's twenty... Iron and five quartz glass or uh, ten quartz glass. And what did I come up here for? Some wood to make five of you. So one, two, three, four, five. There's five. I thought I placed you in there. Don't tell me I didn't. And then I hope we have 20 quartz glass because I don't feel like making more right now. Even though I'm going to probably have to. Let's see, quartz. Yeah, we've only got two. So, quartz glass is easy enough. Made glass and nether ground up. Um, I am I use nether for this. Uh, if you guys, I don't know if I've ever told you why I do. Uh, it just makes more sense to use nether because we can go and we have more nether resources than we do um, regular resources. Like um, Certus. Because the nether just it's easier to find. So why waste our um, our only resources on, you know, something stupid. Okay, let's leave that. We're going to go like this. Like that. Like that. And there's 26. Plus these 15, you guys are going to go back in there. And nether quartz, we can actually probably just smelt you guys back up into your full form. Oh, nope, you make silicone. Good to know. All right. I think there's also another way to make silicone, isn't there? Yeah, sand in a pulverizer. That's probably going to be our most efficient way of making it in the future. All right. Now that we have these, let's go ahead and make our five. There we go. Here's one, two, three, four, 
five. And we're going to have to get behind this as well as breaking that out there. Breaking this out here. This here. And that too. Cool. Alrighty, so let's get rid of that. And we're not going to do... Actually, yeah, we said we were going to do the top um, and side. So let's just get rid of all of this for just for time being. Um, and we'll pop these guys out just a little bit back here. Because we need to be able to get back here. And bring up cabling. So we're going to have to use smart cabling. Because these do run on channels. And we're also going to need to make ourselves a bunch of ME interfaces. So ME interfaces are really not hard to make. Um, and we'll get to that in just a second. Let me just continue getting the rest of this out and cleaned out. So that we have a clean space to work with. Alright. So ME interfaces. That is our next objective. ME interface. And we're going to turn it into these small ones. But for now, we are going to need more annihilation cores and more formation core cores. Okay. That's not bad. Let's just figure out how many we need, actually. Um, so we were going to do top right back maybe we'll see we'll stop we'll start with top right and we'll add more later so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen and that means we need to make 12 formation and annihilation cores cool so um 12 formation 12 annihilation 24 logic processors I will be back, guys, because I'm not going to bore you guys with me making 24 logic processors. I would rather just make it up real quickly. So I'll see you all in a second. All right, guys. Um, we now need to just take the sand, smelt that sand up. Hopefully it won't get pulled out perfect. Um, and copper, you're going to go here. Let's do more lead. Organize you guys. I guess iron's the next culprit of our destruction. Um... So we need these guys still. So we need Fluix, and we need Certus, and then, what was it? Nether and Fluix. Oh, crap, I forgot we need more Nether. Okay, um, so it's 12. Ooh, we didn't need 24. We only needed 12 because it makes two each. Now we just have a plethora. All right. Um, so if that makes two, we need six. That means we need six Fluix Dust and six Certus Quartz. Alrighty. Six Fluix Dust and six Certus Quartz. So let's do um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six. Because you guys know we need Fluix um, dust for each, and then I'm gonna have to hop over into the nether, or we will just use, yeah, it needs to be the nether, okay, let's grab that, and we can quickly do this one first, the one that uses that, there's our 13, and we need to run over to the nether real quickly, because I only have four of those, that's fine, I am going to go with you guys, though, because why not, it's gonna take 30 seconds to get there and get out, uh, da 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 da, Portal number 90. I didn't realize the portal's number was 90. Okay. And we, let's fly around. Ooh, laggy. Is that quartz? Yeah, it is. Hello, thank you for exploding on me. Greatly appreciated. I understand you don't like... Okay. How much did we get there? 12. That once ground up get us a good amount, I believe. I don't like walking on soul sand. It's just so slow. Alright, let's get back. And we can go grind the stuff up. And make it into what we need. Perfect. Back to main base from the Jurassic House. We're at main base... Up to crafting room. Into extractor. Ooh. Purification chamber. Enrichment chamber, actually. What are you? Nether coal? Interdesting. 42, 54, 50. Ooh. Ooh. We got a good amount. Why am I making myself nether bricks? Useless. 
Alrighty, um, I guess for now we'll just place another bricks there. Place you there, and you there, and you guys in there. Okay, and let's make the for me or annihilation cores now. There's our 13 of you, and I told you we made way too many, but that's okay. Okay, next, these guys. So let's grab ourselves a stack of iron, and there's that, 13, put that away, and eat, 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 turn those into ME interfaces of this kind, into their semi-block forms, because it looks better that way. Okay, top, side, side, top, side, side, top, side, side, top, side, side, top. All right, you guys are all interfaced up now. How do you feel? You better feel good because I've been putting a lot of work into you. Now we need some smart cabling to run over to them and hopefully we don't need dents. Um, it's gonna use one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, thirteen channels. We're gonna need dense cabling. Dense cable. Okay, so that's actually covered cable. Covered cable with um more. Okay, so Emmy, we need quartz fiber. I wonder if I have any more quartz fiber. I do have a few. That's going to be quartz and glass. We can do that. Can it be nether quartz? Yeah. Okay, let's grab... We'll do a stack of it. I'll go back to the nether in a little bit. Remember when this thing wasn't any upgrades and it took freaking ages to do this? Same thing it's doing right now? I do. And it was so annoying. I sat here for like an hour just to grind up a stack of ores, and now it takes less than a minute. Hashtag inventions. All right, 64. Uh, you guys go in the middle. You guys go in the middle. You guys go around it. Do 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 do. And do, 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 do. quartz fluix plus. Okay, it needs two fluix. And I hope I have some wool left. I do. All right. So let's grab fluix plus quartz. There's that. Then that, plus that, gets us that. And... Let's put that away, put that away. Let's go grab... Redstone and glowstone. I don't have enough, but glow... Stone, I do. Okay, let's grab more redstone. You know, I need to link this up. I'm sick of running up and down already. Even though we've got the stepper. Back and forth, up, left, right, down, middle, jump, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. We don't have enough. I'm going to have to cut for a sec, guys, because I don't think we're going to have enough to do this. Unless I do... Let's see. Let me go ahead and wire this and I'll be right back. Alright guys, I am finally back, and I just want to show you some of the work that I did. I filled all this in, and how it works is basically we have smart cabling on each one of these, leading into some dense cabling, um, which goes around the entire back, because the dense cabling um, allows us to take 32 channels. And right here you can see it does one, but here's three, that one's four, five, six, and then six on this side, that's 13, 13. And if we go downstairs, it gets down to 13 too. And um, regular cabling only holds up to eight. So we're going to have to use, we had to use this smart cabling. You guys can see this only holds up to eight channels. So that's fine. 32. But that's linking into there now. So now we have five assemblers ready for use. Plus this over here. So if we go to this guy and we go to craftable mode, which we don't have anything craftable yet, you guys can tell. So we're going to need to get a pattern. Blank pattern. One of these guys, they're not too... Ooh, they, they changed the recipe, I think. Okay, it's quartz glass, glowstone, um, 
charged or sort of okay either so um quartz you glowstone and iron and you iron on the bottom quartz 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 glowstone what did i do whoa it's like that nope Okay, you're in the middle. There you go. And we can make more. How much? Let's just, let's, let's finish it up. And we're going to need a pattern encoder as well. Yeah, we got a stack now. Yeah, we're going to also need a pattern encoder. So we'll see what that needs. We can get the next two. I'm going to have to go get more um, glowstone soon. But let's see. A pattern encoder. Pattern terminal. Is this what we need? Huh. A2 pa AE2 pattern. Oh, maybe you need a pattern terminal now. Um, yeah. Okay. That's new. So we need to make ourselves some of these guys. So once again, I'm just going to cut here um, so I don't bore you guys with sitting and watching the inscribers go. Plus, I've got an ME terminal already, and I'll be right back. Alrighty guys, we are back with this, and let's grab ourselves some, what are they called? Wire? Emmy, Emmy cables. Um, and as you guys can see, we slept a lot. I hate the stupid not sleeping at night thing. Alright, there we go. I also built ourselves a two of them, because I turned this guy into a crafting terminal, and that guy into our pattern terminal. Uh, very cool. So... The first thing I want to encode. Huh. What do I want to encode first? What should we teach it how to make? What's something we use a lot? Hmm. I don't know what I want to encode. Is this a thing? Ooh, we're going to work on those soon. Yeah, I don't know what I want to encode. I'm at, I'm at a loss. Maybe we'll do just... We'll start encoding as we get there, but I just want to encode something very basic. Let's grab and we'll teach it how to make a chest for right now. I just want to verify that it works, but as like I move stuff into storage there, we'll need to encode more. And I'm also going to teach it how to encode um, 64K's um, storage cells. You guys know, because I need to start filling up that storage or ME drives with more storage. But anyway, let's go here. Okay, wood. Let's teach it how to do um, this from you to you. So from you to you, and then let's teach it how to do you to you, and we'll throw it into this guy right here, one, two. Let's go to this over here. There we go, let's see. One chest, start. Oh, chest. There we go, it works. We've got ourselves an AE crafting and we're gonna keep these guys going and I'll move them maybe I'll even put them over here in between that that could be really really cool looking hold on let's see if I do a co-processing unit here that there yes that could be really really cool looking in between each one of these guys and then we'll do the same thing on the other side as well and that gives us even more ability to expand awesome i love that all right guys i'm really really happy with the way that this is turning out here i hope you guys are too if you enjoyed today's episode make sure you hit that like and subscribe button for more content and if you're new to my channel check out my other videos just give me a chance and look at other stuff because i really enjoy what i do and i hope you guys do too but anyway guys my name is josh also known as jcap gaming and i'll see you all in the next video peace out everybody